All right, hey y'all, hey, I'm back. Um, so listen, this is the Pelican Bay by obviously Palm Harbor Homes. When I visited Florida recently, this was my first time getting to actually see some of the Palm Harbor Homes. And um, just kind of at looking at it, it's very cute on the outside. I actually kind of like the, uh, what they call, I guess, ship lap in the middle, which is green color, the mint kind of green color, very cute and how it contrasts with the regular paneling that or whatever that they have on the side. I thought that was really nice. Door could stand to upgrade, but hey, that's personal opinion. So going into the home, the first thing I noticed, and you may not be able to see it from this particular vantage point, but it has these slanted ceilings. These are not so noticeable right here, but it does have them. And I always thought they were trash, terrible, throw them away, however, they have come a long way these these weren't bad i actually kind of like the home and i was quite impressed by the actual home itself like it's really cute one thing i really like if you notice when we came into that front door in the living room which is where we are now um it actually you know you couldn't really see the whole kitchen from the first step inside the room i thought that was great fabulous actually See, and you can't really see it there. You kind of see off into it, but you can't quite see the full, you know, length of the home from like one room. Now, of course, as you can see, there's that master bedroom off to the side. My girlfriend does not like those, but eh, what can we do? Brief stop on the uh, dining area, kitchen area, but off to the right. According to their website, this is the retreat. Um... It gave me office vibes, so <laughs> initially that's what I had it listed as. And then the more I look at it, you could actually probably make that kind of an official or kind of small formal dining area or room, dining room, because it technically has two doors. But you know, that's up to your own interpretation once you actually get into the house. Cute space though. You know, I love a, a ceiling thing and I enjoyed the fact that they all had ceiling fans in here already. To me, that's important because I'm hot. Well, hot nature, but you know what I meant, yeah. I, I generally kind of sweat in my sleep, so wounds and things like that that have those, wonderful. So, listen, little dining area, nothing much to it. I wouldn't put that big of a table in that small of an area, but personal preference, again, to each their own, okay? It would have been nice if they had like a sliding uh, glass doors in the back right here where that window is. That would have been really nice. So I did not know that I did that, sl that slow pan to that kitchen like that. My bad. That was really long and dramatic for no apparent reason. Decent sized kitchen. Um, kind of a galley style of a kitchen. But nice nonetheless. Um, of course, this... Uh, mixing of the two browns for the cabinetry like in the island and the cabinet doors you can kind of see there not my preference but nice nonetheless kind of looks like you're at someone's home right there with that backdrop of course nice sink uh, glass top flat top 
stove oven combo you have your win uh window goodness your microwave in the oven uh in the uh goodness cabinet i was gonna say in the oven cabinet my bad there's your view into the cabinets for those who like that nothing really major now listen when i stop and slow pan like that you cannot tell me i don't film for tv it was nice wasn't it go ahead you knew it was nice All right, moving right along um, into some of the other areas of the uh, house here. I feel like I missed the whole room now that I'm looking at this. Um, this is, of course, bedroom number two. I think this is the smaller of the two bedrooms. Nothing crazy major here. Nothing to write home to mom about. But definitely, you know, decent sized bedroom for uh, children if you have those or, you know, guests. You know, guests, so they don't want to stay forever, but they're comfortable while they're there. Into the guest bathroom. If you've seen one bathroom, you've kind of seen them all. Now, what I will say is that I do like the uh, outfit or trim of this bathtub with the uh, small individual tiles. To me, it makes it look it makes it look a little more personable. Um, looks like they took a little bit more time with it. And I like the little clean trim around it with the, uh, breaking the color right there. Cute to me. But again, that's, you know, to each their own. I don't know if I like the open, uh, I guess cabinetry here, you would say. I guess it where you, that's where you can put your towels, toilet papers, essential things that you need in the bathroom, I guess. I don't know what you would put there. But I don't really like the fact that it's open. But, again that's all preference and there's another open uh, cabinet storage area there and then what I also noticed in Florida you see that medicine cabinet over in the corner when have you seen one of those like in years I haven't seen one of those in years but there's one well, that's probably more than one that you've seen now this is the bigger of the two guest rooms nice size and it has an even nicer size closet so I guess if you had multiple children and you had an older child that needed more space for whatever reason, this would probably be the room that you use for that. And here we go right into that closet. Not the biggest closet, but decent size. You could very well, you know, fit quite a few pieces of clothing, uh, storage items, storage containers in that room, so or in that closet. And then it just dawned on me I didn't miss the room because this is the uh, den or second living area. I think I want to say this is the one they build as a uh, theater type deal. I think it may not be, but nonetheless, nice room. Nice second family area off in the back of the house. Um, so yeah, I actually think this would have probably been a cute area to put the actual master bedroom. But then I guess the other living area would have been right next to this living area. So, you know, it's kind of give and take. You only got so much uh, that you can do with a 30 by 68 uh, box, as they call them. But nonetheless, I think this is really nice. I love that they have the hookup for the television and cable for those who use that kind of thing. It's already there. Oh my God, that is not supposed to be there. I'm sorry. That is not the size of this utility room. My apologies. Um, I'm not going back to take it out, but just know that it's not the size. So here's your utility room, your back entrance. Of course, you have a... Uh, shoe shelf I guess is what you use that for when people come in take their shoes off put them right there in those cubby holes that are at the very bottom all right so now I hope that you guys are enjoying this cruise through the house get it cruise the waves the rocking see what I did there no okay my bad anyway so at this point as you probably can figure we're moving right on right along to what I'm now calling the primary bedroom. I saw that somewhere else on a on a floor plan I was looking at it. I said, oh, not the master bedroom, but the primary bedroom. Cute. 
that's very PC, right? Nice size bedroom. Here's where you can kind of really see that the uh, ceiling is slanted, but nonetheless, it's actually very nice in this home. Of course, you know, I love a ceiling fan in a bedroom. Very nice size. Going to the primary bathroom. Again, see it? <laughs> of course, you have your water, your water closet. And then on this one, um, I don't know if my phone kind of zoomed in, but it doesn't feel like I'm showing you everything there. So again, I apologize if you did not get to see the water closet as well as we probably could have, but feel free to go tour the home. This shower looks really, really clean. And I think it's just the color that they chose for like the tile, but it looks really nice. Of course, you see your open storage, uh, your hooks for your bathrobes, house dresses, whatever the case may be, whatever you like to lounge in. I love the bench in this. And of course, I love a good uh, transit window that's in the shower because you know I cannot stand a dark bathroom. This was beautiful to me. Very nice. <laughs> When I said they're very nice, it made me think of Mobile Home Diva. <laughs> very nice. I like that. So, yeah, that was the primary bathroom. Nothing really major here. And here we are at the closet for the bedroom. Really long closet. If you look up ahead, look up overhead, you kind of see they have the fluorescent light strips. I saw that a lot in these homes. You'll see another home that I'm going to put up where I kind of feature those a little bit more but I really do like those I feel like they're really efficient they very rarely go out and of course they'll last you know like I said they last for a long time and so they're just kind of you know more energy efficient well that was the house I don't have pricing on it but I hope you enjoyed the 2022 square feet home that was with Palm Harbor the Pelican Bay always thank you for watching okay bye